Hey guys, right, welcome to an episode. We are going to mount, we're going to use this crucible. Um, looks like copper, doesn't it? It's not, it's not copper. I'm going to bring you over here. The camera doesn't like that. Right, this is copper and I was stripping this, stripping that, stripped to them and I stripped all this. Sorry, you can't bloody see. I don't know why my camera's doing this. Shutting the door, that's it. We'll see now. Right, that's better. Right, I've cut that and I've cut these. These are all, um, looks like copper, doesn't it? But it's not, it's freaking aluminium. I'll just show you. Watch this, I was wrapping them up. I actually wrapped them up and I put some copper core in it and then wrapped these around that. And then I weighed them and realized that's not the same as what I did last time. You're going to see this before your eyes. Be careful when you get some copper. Looks like, oh, some copper looks like copper, but it's not. It's aluminium. I'm just going to do this one-handed. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually aluminium. You know, can I do it one hand? Not really. Ah. Oh. Now I'll put you down and then I'll show you. You can see right there. Right in that area. There and there. It's got a, it's like a light tinge. It's actually aluminium. You can see it there. So we're going to melt some aluminium today. So we'll get that. A um, couple of castings that I did. Um, that. There was a, a slingshot idea that broke, so we'll we'll put that in there. Another ingot that I wasn't happy with, because look at the shape, it's just crap. So we're going to melt that. Melt this extrusion, a couple of thin bits, and what are those? That was for the sling, off the slingshot as well. So we'll just we'll just do a small melt. Right, we'll just do a small melt with this aluminium and get rid of this, get rid of this wire because, um, it's, and plus I felt like doing a melt after work today, so it's actually quite a nice afternoon, about 33 or something. So we're going to melt this aluminium. Guys, make sure you scratch your aluminium or your copper wire that you think, but if it's a bit light, just give it a scratch. So I got caught out that way. Alright, once that's full, we'll have a pull.
guys, here we go. First aluminium ones in these ingots. I purposely make them bigger because they shrink, as you know. There we go. Still a little bit left, but we'll put that back in the kiln uh, furnace. And um, I'll just get this here now while we're watching. Might as well put Adam, Adam Moore in there now. Sorry for moving. Alright. So probably gonna put that one in maybe. Sneak that one in there. Snake this one in. I don't think, I don't know, we might get one more in there. Alright, we'll go put that, go put that back in the crucible. Back in the furnace, I mean, sorry guys, there we go. So I got them out. They were a bit of a bugger to get out because it has to, has to cool down a certain temperature and then they'll drop out. So all right, we're going to do the second pour now. Skin the dross off. Mm. Right. I'm just going to do this now, move this over here. Here we go. Here we go. Right, I got them out, but they're a real bugger to get out. Um, I'll just show you. 
they were all bugger to get out. Like, um, the suction on them was pretty amazing. It's like that for all of them. I don't know why, but the aluminium. It's like that for all of them. Bit of a, bit of a bugger. Right, yeah, let's. That's cool, isn't it? Cool these down. So clean. Let's put them away with here. Very clean bars. They're probably the cleanest aluminium bars I've done. Let's have a look at that. So clean. These models are really good. to touch them. Alright, we'll let them cool down. Let them cool down and then we'll get them out. Have a look. Then we'll weigh them inside. Oh, and then we got this. Then we got this little one. I'll probably remount this one. Nice little coiny bit. There you go. All right, there we are. We got them there. So let's turn this on. Hello. So we got on grams. All right, they are really clean. They are really clean, eh? So they have one kilo molds, except they're 300 grams. 642. There's a kilo nearly. 1300. 16. Two kilos. Two, three. Two, so we're going to get three. Oh, just under three kilo. Three kilo there. All right, so we'll stack these up. Keep that one there on the top. So I reckon what we'll do is we'll stack them as a contrast because they're the same size. It'll be a nice contrast. We'll have those. So if it's dark, get those. Just make it so it's all the same size, even a all my coppers there, and then that's all my lead. There's that. Right, there's that. So there you go. It makes a nice contrast. So what I've done is I'll keep that one, there's the aluminium one. And there's the Nordic gold one. This is we'll do this on another video. Alright, I've turned the light down on this side, so we've got the aluminium there. This is, we're going to do this on another video. We've got the Nordic Gold. We've got the Copper. We've got the Brass. And we've got the Bronze. So we're actually going to polish these on another video. So they're all going to be mirror, 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 mirror. Just like the Bronze. The Beryllium Bronze. So we'll do that on another video so we can have the five different five different ones there. So there you go. Bronze, brass, copper, Nordic gold, aluminium.